What's up, everyone? Thanks for joining us for episode number four. In this episode, we uh, do a review of ARB's Elements Fridge Freezer. Jason, Alberto Overland, this is Buddy King. It's a pleasure to meet you, buddy. Hey, Jason, oh, absolutely. Yeah. Well, on the Overland crowd, obviously, refrigerators are a big item. Oh, right. So you have a new uh, refrigerator that came out. Yeah, yeah. Fridges, fridges are my bag, baby. Come on over here. <laughs> right on. So this is the new one. Okay, this is our latest refrigerator. For the refrigerator itself, oh, someone's unplugged it. <laughs> cut, cut, cut. <laughs> Thank you for the magic of editing. <laughs> there we go. Be one with the world. Okay. <laughs> this is our latest refrigerator freezer. It's known as the Elements Refrigerator Freezer. And it's designed for, for just that, to be left outside. You can bolt this to the back of a service truck or in the back of an open vehicle, Jeep, what have you. It can be rained on, snowed on, dust, completely impervious to all that kind of abuse. So you, you're, what you're saying is this can actually be outside? Yes. With no issues? Right on. Oh, that's awesome. Yeah. Now, it uses the same electronics package, the same uh, compressor, copper lines, heat exchanger, and it is, of course, optimized for rugged off-road yeah. use. All the inner components of this is the same as the entire ARB line because it's proven over decades to work very well. However, the outer case is where it's different. Okay. All right. Stainless steel, very yep. rugged, of course. Reflects a lot of infrared, so it doesn't tend to heat up the fridge as much. Less, less heat load on the refrigerator. The lid will stay where you park it. Fully adjustable, full temperature. This will actually go 100 degrees below ambient temperature. So if it's 100 degrees outside, this will hit zero without, wow. without a crack and a sweat. All right. So to adjust, we have one here for power only. Switch here. This is our mode switch. So right now the fridge is at 27 degrees. Just feel the, the side of that right there. Oh, nice. Isn't that cold? Right. So let's say I want to um, take a bunch of frozen popsicles to a soccer game or where, wherever. I can adjust this down to whatever temperature I want. It's funny. It'll go to minus eight degrees Fahrenheit. That's eight below zero. Not eight under freezing. Eight below zero. Okay. Fridge will run till it hits that target temperature, then shut off. Then it'll turn on and off, you know, two or three times an hour, just to give a little nudge to keep it at that temperature. All right. Yep. Also with this refrigerator, you can set it um, for Fahrenheit or Celsius. You can have it has a battery monitor, so you can have it cut out at 10.8 volts, 10. 2 volts or 10.6 volts in its medium setting. Oh wow. So if you're you know a little concerned about your battery, you can have the fridge bail out if that's you know yeah. of importance. Also on this refrigerator, you have different channels. This is channel one, two, channel three, and channel four. We have an optional wireless temperature gauge that plugs in the back of the refrigerator and will transmit up to hundred feet what's going on. Is it on and what the temperature is in the fridge? So if you have this in an RV or in the back of a pickup truck, yeah. somewhere remote, you can always see what's going on with the refrigerator. So don't worry about you know the, the cable, the 12 volt, 12 volt cord being pulled out or something's going to miss. You know what's going on. Does that just transfer to an app? Not yet. Not yet. No, not yet. But it will. Okay. Yeah. Okay. There's a the refrigerator has an LED light, a bright one that actually throws the light on the food. So you know when you open it at night, you're not getting a light in your eyes. Some yeah. of them mount them back here, which doesn't make a lot of sense to me, but it is what it is. Inside the refrigerator, all the cooling plates are coated in a food safe material. If you, if you uh, have something let go in there, like a can of pop splits open or something, you can actually hose it out, no problem. There's a drain in the bottom, it'll just you know, drain out the bottom, no issues whatsoever. Now, the most common question is, well, how long will it go on a battery? That's, you know, there's a lot of variables there. How, you know, how cold is it? How warm is it? If you put warm stuff in it, you put cold stuff in it. But let's say that you're already on your trip. Everything's to temperature. Let's say you're running a bunch of, um, you know, burger meat and pop and it's, you're keeping it around 30 degrees, right? This will stay 
Um, it, let's say it's 85 degrees out and everything's the temperature in there. Your fridge is only turned on once in a while. You should get about 30 hours before you have to start the vehicle. So overnight parking, no problem whatsoever. They work brilliantly on solar. The minimum size older, the solar panel would be 80 watts. You have an 80 watt solar panel with this and a deep cycle battery, you can stay somewhere for a month and That's never awesome. start your vehicle. It'll, an 80 watt solar panel's got enough power output. You gotta have two out of three days of sun and it'll just keep going and going and going. Oh, that's amazing. Uh, I love this new product, it's awesome. I can't wait to pick one up. It runs on a 12 volt, 24 volt, or 110. You can have it plugged into 110 and 20, uh, sorry, 110 and 12 volt at the same time. And it'll look, if it sees 110, it'll pull from that. If it sees twelve, if it loses that, it'll switch automatically to twelve volt. So if you're in an RV, yep. you know you don't have to worry about turning it on and plugging it in. It'll work up to a forty degree angle. So when you're off roading, you know you don't have to worry about the fridge shutting off. It won't. Awesome. Um, the only issue you want to uh, make sure you cover is that when you put stuff in here and you know where you're going to go off road, it gets a bit rough. Then you kind of pack this stuff because it's going to be bouncing around in there, right? So that's the only thing I would caution you on when using these. A lot of people learn that the hard way when things break and then they open it up and it's a mess, right? Absolutely. Uh, something that people don't often think about, this is a 63-quart 63, 63 fridge it give, or freezer. It gives you 63 quarts of volume for dry storage. To get the same amount of dry storage, you need 120 quart cooler because half of it's filled with ice. Right, right. right. So we're not taking away any volume with ice. The fridge is doing all the chilling. So you actually can store a lot more stuff, hot drinks, food, frozen stuff in here in a smaller package than if you had a, a Yeti or a big Coleman or something of that nature. Absolutely. Well, buddy, I really appreciate you showing me this new freezer. Absolutely amazing. ARB, always a really, really good product. Thank you. Thank you so much, man. You're welcome. Cheers. Pleasure. Oh, one last thing. Yes. Security. There's a pin code on here. You can actually set the fridge to lock. So you look in here. Sorry, I meant to tell you that. There's a pin receiver here and a pin here. If I hit a certain code on here, which you can put in by yourself, four digit code, so 1111 or 123 or 1121, this pin will lock in the lid so it won't open. So if you've got medicines in there, you don't want the kids, you know, getting into the getting in when they shouldn't. Yeah, yeah. Yep. Or, and then of course you can lock with a padlock there. So, awesome. three year warranty, I think that should cover it all. That is amazing. Well, I really appreciate that. You're thank welcome. you very much, sir. Again, thank you. Cheers.